Alright, so what we have prepared for you today is an experiment that really needs to have a good setup. So if you want to try this at home, listen carefully, we're gonna go through the steps and then of course we're gonna demonstrate it for you. So we're going to demonstrate the power of friction. Friction is a common occurrence in many physical experiments and also it guides us through our daily lives, be it sitting, standing, moving, everything we do involves some form of friction. So what we're gonna need, we're gonna need two same books, then we're gonna need several strength bolts and two pieces of iron per book, so four pieces in total to hold the entirety together. And then of course we're gonna need a crane and a car preferably a used non-working car. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the two books together and we're gonna fold them page by page as demonstrated by my assistant here. The important part here is to really do it page by page since what we're going for is the biggest amount of friction between the pages. So, uh, after cutting several holes through the book, we're going to take the pieces of iron, put them in like this, and we're going to put in the bolts. Alright, so what you're going to end up with is something that looks a little bit like this. We have the two books, they have been fitted with the bolts and it's a really important part of this experiment is tightening the bolts as much as possible because the bolts are effectively the weakest part of this whole contraption. So if it's going to break somewhere, it's probably going to be the bolts. So the more you tighten them, the safer this experiment is going to be and also the bigger the weight you can put on this contraption. At first we had to determine just how much weight could our books hold. In the end we determined the upper limit to be somewhere around two and a half tons. The nearby scrapyard had lent us a Ford which weighed about 1600 kilograms and all that remained was to put it on the crane and start lifting. Once the car was sufficiently high in the air we left it hanging there for about 5 minutes before descending it to the ground. And after we examined the books, we discovered that not even one page had been torn and the books themselves remained intact.